Hello and welcome back to Danielle's Desk. Uh, today we are going to be setting up a brand new work planner. So as you saw in the title, um, new job, new work planner. And so <laughs> it's so funny because the current job that I'm in, I've only been in for a year and a half. Same hospital system that I've been with. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know the whole story. I've been with the company for 21 years or going on 22 years at this point. And um, I am moving departments. So I'm going back into the management world. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm going to be the administrator over a large, a large orthopedic center. And so when I started the position that I'm currently in, I did a new planner. And so, but I don't think that I showed it on here. I'm going to link um, setting up a work planner, but it was from my prior job. So if you just want some inspo, that one is, I think I used all Jane's agenda stuff and it is in letter size. So if you're looking for something large, um, that may be perfect for you. I do like larger planners, um, like classic size, Erin Condren size, letter size for my work planner. It gives me a lot more room to write. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a brand new one. I don't have all of the pieces that I would want. There's a couple of things that I probably will need to order, but I wanted to go ahead and get it set up to actually see what I needed to order. So what you're about to see is a brand new shop. I've never ordered from them before. I actually bought this off of buy, sell, trade. It was a pretty good deal and I bought it, I'm going to say around three months ago. So this was my intention for my work planner for 2024. Um, and then things got bumped up and I'm starting my new job at the beginning of November. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I don't necessarily know where I want to start first. I guess I can just go ahead and start with the inserts. So we'll do that. Um, we are going to be setting up a planner from the Inkwell Press. Um, this is a very well-known and popular uh, company. I have seen them um, all over on Instagram. Um, but it wasn't until I bought this off of someone that I realized the incredible value. And um, I went perusing through their website and they have a lot of different options. What I do like about in Equal Press, um, if you're like stumped on where to start, because sometimes you can get so overwhelmed with what to buy on a website. Am I buying the right size? Am I whatever? What am I doing the right thing? They actually have a tab off to the left hand side that says something like get you started or start here. And so you can actually build your own planner, your cover, your disc and what you want inside and it will walk you through everything. So I do appreciate that so much, especially for people that, you know, like can get overwhelmed or maybe you've just been planning for a while and you said, you look, I just want to take these things in bits and pieces and steps to figure out exactly what I want. So let's go ahead and we're going to start with the inserts. So these are brand new inserts that I bought uh, from the seller. This was a whole bundle. So everything that I'm showing here was in the bundle. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and give you the price. I paid $100 flat. That included shipping for everything that you will see here, which I think is an incredible value. So we'll go ahead and get this off of here. So the first insert so that I'm showing you, and you can see here, it says dailies. And y'all know that I have been obsessed with dailies. I use currently use dailies right now in my everyday planner. If you've been following me when I did my half letter, I switched over to dailies and, um, my last video uh, showed um, a coil that I'm using and it is daily. So I've just been obsessed with them thanks to Jane. Um, and so here you get this daily priority list and um, it says focusing on our priorities is what separates busy from truly productive. Then it has a couple of headers, escalate, cultivate, and accommodate. So this is really nice. So this is your front... Um, a landing page and this is where you would put your information so this is where I'm going to put my name script and we're going to do all of that today but I just want to take you through the insert or sorry the bundle so here are important dates and what I will use this for is um, I'm going to mark my employees birthdays I love to track their birthdays it's not that I go out and buy something individual or something for them but just a nice little card that I usually like to get. And sometimes I usually will enclose like a $5 
Starbucks gift card or something like that for them to put towards their coffee in the morning and things like that. So this is what I like to do. I like to track everyone's birthdays. So that's what I'll be using this, um, this sheet for. These are goals. And so I am definitely, I like to set goals uh, for my work planners. Um, and so ideally I won't be able to set these goals until like I'm in the position and actually know. I have some things that are in my mind that I want to target, uh, but the specifics of it, I won't know until I get into the role, but I do have some general goals. So we're gonna be utilizing these and these are quarterly, quarterly which I like. This is a, mo a monthly uh, mission board, and this is more personal. It says me time, be social, home. I probably won't use any of this, and I probably won't use any of the daily habits. Again, this is not for me personally, so there's no habits that I want to track for work at all. I don't want to get like bogged down with this, so I can tell you that these sheets here, and I'm trying to see... I probably will have to keep this one and then I would have to get rid of all of these. So you get several in here and we would have to take this out. So ideally I'm keeping this portion, even though I won't, I probably end up clipboarding, um, um, clipping both of these and then we will move to the next one. So this is where your dailies actually start and um, you have where you can circle what day of the week. And again, it is all undated, which is nice. Um, even though I liked dated in my personal, I'm okay with undated with my work planner. Currently with my Erin Condren, I, it is all dated. I don't have to worry about it, but I'm okay with undated. Um, we have today's focus. We have a schedule, which I absolutely love. We have a note section. Um, I'm not sure what this scorecard means exactly. So I'm not sure if I'm going to utilize this section. I'm, I'm not sure. Today's accomplishments. And then it brings you right back to your priority list. So escalate, cultivate, and accommodate. So um, the escalate part is important and urgent. So those are top things that I need to do. Um, and then this one is important, non-emergent, and this is unimportant. So this allows me to categorize my sections and what I'm going to be doing. Now, I am going to tell you I'm probably going to use an insert, a half sheet insert as a running to-do list. And I will show you that in a minute because some of those came in the bundle and I'm very excited about that. But this is the general um, daily sheet. It is all, I believe it's all in the same color. Yes, it's all in this green colorway. As you can see it, I'm unsure of how many you get total in here. It doesn't tell me on the little sheet, but you get quite a bit. And I can, of course, always order some. So this is how um, the bundle is. Again, this is daily and this is exactly what I need um, for my work. Another um, set of inserts that came in the bundle are these. These are the same things. These are dailies. And so, but you can see that these are in a blue, bluish colorway. So they're a little bit different if you can see those. So these must be some that she already used. And these are just, you know, like the remaining ones. So I get an extra of the undated. And I'm not going to be uh, putting all of this in my planner because this would be way too thick. But I just kind of wanted to show you. Now, I remind you, I paid $100 for these. And on the website, I want to say they range between $30 and $40. Um, so to me, that's an excellent value. But I just want to show you just the whole daily insert bundle that I got. The next thing that I want to show you... Um, I'm going to take you to this insert bundle and it says I'm grateful for, and then every month, um, I'm going to put what I'm grateful for and I am going to utilize this because, um, not only do I practice gratitude in my personal life, I want to uh, practice gratitude always in my work life. And so I want as, as stressful as management can get and ex as stressful as work can be, I want to be reminded I, to uh, to be grateful for the small things, the large things. And then at the end of the year, you know, I want to be able to reflect on this and say, you know what, this was a tough year. 
Maybe I laid off some people. Maybe I laid some people, uh, let some people go. Maybe some people, you know, left on their own free will. But here is what I am grateful for. So I love that. This is a bucket list. I will not be using that. So, um, and as you can see, these are how old they are. So this is from 2021. So um, this is monthly, it says automations, um, more help go to inkwell.com automation so i'm not sure what automations is i see this is bills and of course we're not going to be utilizing that but i'm unsure about what that what that first of all what that word means i would have to go to the website to read up on that but i can tell you that i won't be utilizing that nor will i be utilizing the monthly budget because this is a work planner but um this is an idea of what you can find on the website. This is for projects and I definitely will be utilizing um, this insert. They only come with one in here, but it are actually where you can list two projects. So this is something that I will keep inside of my planner. And then here is just notes. And y'all know I love just blank notes. And what I like about these, this is great. So you have these lined right here. Let me get these out of the way. And then you have these. This is very unique. So it's more like a grid, but I love these so much. I don't think that I have anything like this in my collection. If I do, I don't know about it. I don't remember or I'm not utilizing, obviously. But I love this. So ideally, I got the daily that you saw here. I got these grid inserts and I got these aligned. So I just want to show you that. So we'll place that off to the side. Next are some inserts that I'm not going to be using at all, but I'll just keep in my collection because you never know. This is a grocery list. So if you're looking for something where you can um, utilize a grocery list, you get a ton of these in there. And let me tell y'all, the paper is super thick. It's really nice. Very nice quality paper. And on the back, you get to meal plan. So you get to make whatever your meals are. So you get a ton of these in here. But like I said, I won't be utilizing these. So we're going to place these off to the side with the other inserts that I'm not going to be using. Next, we have these half inserts that I was talking about. And I'm actually going to be buying more of these because I love these. These are going to be running... Go. Um, Utilize as a running checklist. Now, when I go on the website to make a purchase, I'm going to get the kind probably that has the lines. I prefer the lines. Even though you can put more on the grid, I prefer the lines. But these are really, really nice. And so I am definitely going to be utilizing these in the planner as well. The next thing that I'm going to show you is a folder. This was also included in the bundle. So I am going to be utilizing this folder. You get um, a pocket that's right here. You get a pocket here and you get a pocket in the back. The back says everything in its place. A plate, well, a place for everything and then everything in its place. This is really, really pretty blue. I'm definitely going to be utilizing this, even though it's not going to go with the color scheme. I am going to put it all the way to the back. The next thing that I'm going to show you is my divider. So this bundle came with um, frosted color dividers. You can tell that it's been used quite a bit. You can see the markings. I don't care anything about that <laughs> at all. But um, she did give me all of these. They're through December. And this is where I will insert all of my daily pages. And then she also gave me two, uh, three actually blank ones that are in the back. And there we go. So we have those. And like I said, you can tell that they have definitely been used, but um, I am totally okay with that. It does not have to be perfect. And then the next thing that I got is a stack of 
planner covers y'all remember i paid a hundred dollars for all of this so i think it is a really good value so the first one that i'm going to show you um it is a really pretty charcoal gray these are vegan leather snap covers y'all know that i love snap covers that's all i used um over um with um jane's agenda so it was really nice to see a larger size it has the inkwell press embossing on the back and um, just really really nice charcoal gray so i got that one also got one that was a pattern one this one is more of a hard one not a vegan leather one and then it has the beehive um print all in the inside with that really pretty gray different color grays with pops of green here is the back and then it has the inkwell press um, at the back this one is going to be a black um and i'm thinking about this is probably what we're going to use we're either going to use this one or the gray i'm just unsure um at this time on which one i'm going to use but um again it's just like the gray one it has the inkwell press that's in the back and then these two are the exact same so i don't know if she bought one and you know just decided i needed another one or what i'm trying to make sure that i have them all together but they are the exact same and i was kind of thinking about using um these um but i'm not sure we're, we're just gonna have to decide i don't see we have the black here i know that i'm not going to be using the pattern one even though you you probably want me to use that one i'm not going to use that one and then here is that dark gray so it's like i'm bouncing between these two here and not these two but um i don't know we'll just we'll have to wait and see but i am going to pull out these two because i know it's going to be between them um and then the last thing that i got was this so i got these this here which are the larger they look like um one and a half uh, inch disc and they are gorgeous they look more like a bluish tone gray I don't think I've ever seen any like that and when I saw them when she showed pictures I was like wow these are some beautiful discs and then we have uh, just some little baby ones what is this a half inch disc uh, and these are in silver so I have um, a lot of different options here and then we have some rose gold so we have quite a bit and it seems like there are probably two sets of these rose gold that are in here so again i received all of this for hundred dollars which i feel like is an incredible incredible value so let's go ahead and get things uh set up and get things going and figure out how we're going to get things going so let's build our planner so y'all know that I want to use these and you see how that looks on there? Do you see it? It's so pretty. So we're definitely going with that one. But it is nice to know that I can, if I get tired, I can always change out. Cause right now, I mean, I can change out my planner right now. Uh, my planner cover on my Erin Condren. I can do that. Um, it's a snap cover, you know, but I just never did. It's personalized. Um, it has the stethoscopes on there. I think I have a picture over on my Instagram page of the planner. I love it so much. Gosh, I love these discs so much. I have not seen any disc this color before. I just, this is a first for me. Um, that is gorgeous. I'm going to pop these in here. So we have these discs in here and we're going to go ahead and put our uh, dividers in here. I'm going to move some of these inserts over to the side to give us more room to put everything. I'm going to make sure to have um, equal press. Uh, linked below. I tried to look for codes. Um, I know that they're having a sale. I, it was, it said it was six days ago on Instagram. So I don't know if it's still going on, but they're having some of their dated stuff 
starting from June of this year or July of this year to June of next year. So that would give you some time to use some of this, you know, the inserts, they're dated and they're discounted. I didn't see how discounted they were, but I am going to go and, and take a look. I, I don't need any inserts, obviously, because, um, well, I don't know why I did, why I did this so thick. Um, but I just, I need half sheets and I also need monthly. So if you notice, I didn't have any monthlies in this bundle and I love monthlies. So I need to have some kind of monthlies in my, in my planner. So I'm definitely going to be going to the website and purchasing that. All right, there we go. I don't know why I did that the hard way. I'm not yet, but here we are. I love that. It's so pretty. And if I wanted to change out these, I could, but I don't care about that right now. <laughs> I don't. Okay, so our folder, I do want to add the folder and we're going to put this one all the way in the back here. And just so if I need to slide anything in there, it'll already be in there. And so we're going to divide up some of our inserts. So what I'm going to do is, what I should have done is... I should have taken November. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take November. And December. And we're gonna move those to the front. Cause that's where we're gonna be starting. I'm gonna be starting this planner in November. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. Okay, so let's add our um, dailies in here. I do wanna put this at the very, very front. We're gonna be adding my name to the very front of that. And actually, to add this was um, the birthdays and all of that so it's going to be one daily sheet because it is back in front um, on this side but my dailies actually start here so I'm just going to take I'm not going to count it out whatever I don't utilize I will um, move it to the next month no biggie so we'll do that and then we'll put some in December. I'm unsure how I would do my dailies in my half letter is that once I was done with them, like, like all, like I would throw them away, like, cause it got so bulky inside of my planner. I didn't keep them. I had no reason to keep or reference my dailies. I know some people do keep their um, inserts, their used inserts. I do not. I don't have any from years past or anything like that. Now, if it's inside of a coil planner, totally different. But if it's inserts, mm -mm, I don't keep them. I don't necessarily see the need, so I don't keep them. So I think it'll be much much of the same unless it's something really important that I had documented or something, but I can just definitely see myself um, forwarding that, like putting it on something else and filing it somewhere in my office, you know, like not holding it here in the planner. I said I wasn't going to put all these dailies in here, but it looks like I'm putting all these dailies in here, don't it? I didn't want it to be that big because I still have... Um, to be that big. okay so we're gonna stop there so I stopped with um, April okay so next I want to put a few of these half sheets um, well let's not do that while we're back here let's go ahead and I want to put So that I want to utilize some of these notes. I'm trying to think 
which notes. I think I'm going to get this one. And here, I'm going to put a few of these. Okay, that'll work. All right, now we can go back and I want to add some half sheets. What did I do? Why do I have December right here? Oh, what did I do? I did it backwards. Okay, let's fix this. This is December. This is November. going to put these half sheets here. All right, perfect. She's thick. She's thick. All right. Um, also, I did have, I pulled a couple of bookmarks. These are some bookmarks that I just had in my collection that I know, I think, We'll, let's see if they'll be. I don't know. Yeah, they're not lining up right. I didn't know if they would fit or not. Yeah, they're not. So these aren't lining up right, so I can't use any of these. I got these off Amazon like years and years ago. Um, so I wasn't sure if they would fit or not. So we're going to put those back. This one is from Poi and Hun, so this one will fit. Um, so I may have to get uh, some bookmarks while I'm on the site. I really need to make myself a list. While I'm here, <laughs> let me make myself a list. So um, I need bookmarks. Um, I need monthlies. And I need some more half sheets. Okay, so those are the things that I'm going to grab um, on the website. All right, so let's go here and we are going to, and I know that I'm gonna to have to take out some dailies if I add those monthlies to it. So we'll do that when the time comes. So we put that, again, that's from Poi and Hun. And then the last thing that I need to do is put my name. So I have these from Amber Plans Her Day. And I think that I'm going to utilize the small one. So I think I'm going to put it, I may have to back it up. Sorry if you're gonna be out of frame, but it's either that or my head's gonna be in the way. Okay, perfect. Love that. All right, so we got my work planner all set up. It's very um, sleek and professional, you know what I mean? Um, we have our half sheets here, which are nice. Now half sheets and we have our dailies. And then if we turn all the way to the back, we have our notes sheet and then our grid, and then we have our folder for everything else. So I am so very excited. So thank you so much for joining me here at Daniel's Desk. If you enjoyed setting up my new work planner for my new job, please give the video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, consider subscribing, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.